Hi, I'm Janice Lawrence Clark. I love reading Caribbean colloquial poems and short stories. Today, I'm reading from Rodney Foster's first book, Remember When. Rodney Foster is from Trinidad and Tobago, living here in Atlanta, Georgia. The poem I'm reading today is called Good Parenting. Now remember, I'm reading Rodney's work. So if you hear me say man or boy, I'm talking about Rodney, all right? Good parenting. Ete have no substitute for good parenting. In my boyhood days, we had several parents. First, you had your real parents, your mother and father, and then a ton load of family. Grandparents, uncles, aunts, godparents, and cousins. In addition to your teachers and any adults. Any of those people could have teach you the straight and narrow path, which sometimes meant cutting your tail. Today when I hear them talk about corporal punishment in the schools and children rights, I just want to laugh. My mother and some of them teachers would have surely make a jail if them laws was in existence then. Hmm. Rampy must be just turning his grave when he hear them talking about children pushing drugs in school and bringing guns to class. Two man rat can live in the same hole, you know. In Rampy school, it had only one man rat. That was Evans T. Rampasad. He was a model head teacher, loved, feared, and respected. I remember one day, Rampy spot a fella moving after the second whistle blow. Now in Barataria EC, that was a cardinal sin. The rule was, once you hear that second blast, you had to freeze, stop whatever you're doing, and wait for the third whistle to run and line up. If you're up in the air, stay there like Michael Jordan. Hmm. When school call, Rampy call the boy up on the stage, ring the silence bell, and start to give the boy a long speech about obeying rules and regulations and the consequences of disobeying. That was one thing with them long-time teachers and parents. They love to speechify like a midnight rubber before they bust slashing your tail. Hm. Sometimes the lecture was more painful and embarrassing than the blows itself. You used to feel like saying, all right, Rampy, cut out this other talk and give me the two lash and done. But you didn't know better. Except my cousin Cowie. One day, Rampy was going to beat him. In front of the whole school, Rampy pointing the rod at Cowie, say, children, there is a fool at the end of this cane. Cowie with his smart self asks him, which answer? <laughs> Some of the teachers and the big students start to giggle. Rampy gets vexed and he get Kaui four good lash on his bamsi. Kaui start to break dance one time. <laughs> yes, man. Rapping and all them kind of new dance, they really new, no? <laughs> all them teachers and parents some long ago used to rap too bad. You remember your mother saying, this is going to hurt me more than it hurt you. How many times I have to tell you not to do that, eh? Like broomstick breaking your ears or what? Well, if you can't hear, you go feel. Wap, wap. Oh, God, mommy, I ain't gonna do it again. Wap, wap. All this time, your breaks in too bad. You're dancing, your breaks in blows and begging pardon. Boy, them days were something else. Long time parents didn't spare the rod and spoil a child. No way. You think it's the Surgeon General warning that preventing me from smoking today? Nah, man, that's too abstract. I remember the time when I picked up my grandfather's cigarette butt in the yard and I went in the latrine. If you see me puffing away like a star boy I see in one of them 1230 movie. I was trying to make a smoke ring when the door suddenly fly open. <laughs> I throw the butt in the latrine pit as my grandmother register a lash on my back. 
hmm, I dash out the outhouse with grandma in hot pursuit. Pelting bell that was whizzing past my ears like all them motocars speed past one another on the highway. Whoosh, whoosh. Hmm, and she's speechifying too. You're playing chimney? Take that. Go inside and pick up a book. And don't come out until I say so. That is a more tangible message to me than some fine print saying, cigarette smoking may be dangerous to your health. It's them kind of parents the world need today in the fight against the evil vices. Strong parents, loving parents, parents who are afraid their own children. Parents like the ones Bill Crosby described in one of his comedy routines. Parents who say, I brought you into this world and I ain't afraid to take you out. <laughs> yes, man. Long time parents communicated that message loud and clear. My generation received it without interference or static. Roger, 10-4.